So how do you know Hermione Granger? Hermione? Oh, she was lucky enough to be my flatmate when we were students at Hogwarts. It's like having a never-ending sleepover with your best friend or your most annoying cousin. We didn't always see eye to eye, but we had loads of fun. Miss Granger was such a big part of the battle to defeat Lord Voldemort and his Death Eaters. Does she ever talk about that experience? Oh, you mean the battle that I fought with her? Along, alongside her? Oh no, can't say that she does. What have you been doing since Hogwarts? Well, my sister Padma and I took a few years off after Hogwarts, sort of travel, get our lives together. He who must not be named sort of interrupted things. We were all just 17 and 18 year olds with no other plans other than surviving a war, so, you know. Since Hogwarts, I've committed to thriving. When and why did you move to LA? Padma and I moved to New York when we were 20, but I immediately got an offer at Bewitch Magazine, so I moved to LA and I've been here ever since. Uh, tell us a little bit about your current job. I am the assistant beauty editor at Bewitched Magazine, the wizarding world's largest fashion magazine. Enough said. Since you work at a beauty magazine, any must-know style tips for 2004? Hmm. Green eyeshadow is actually in right now, so if you're feeling daring, you could give that a try. Lots of pink lips, lots of curls. I'm really quite excited about 2004. Are there any makeup looks that you think we should have left in 2003? Mm. Crunchy permed hair that should have been left in the 80s. Over bronzing, over plucked eyebrows, you know. If your name's not Britney Spears or Parvati Patil, I'd say leave the glittery eyeshadow at home. <laughs>